We estimate that there are about 23,000 nuclear weapons in the world. Various groups have been focused on acquiring weapons of mass destruction, in particular, nuclear weapons. All the black market seizures that I'm aware of were caught by luck. At a Russian naval base in the early 1990s, potatoes were guarded better. Iran, North Korea, they are prepared to start trading nuclear weapons technology. The objective of Al-Qaeda is to, quote, kill four million Americans. You're not going to get to kill four million people by hijacking airplanes and crashing them into buildings. The United States launched a rocket from Norway to study the Northern Lights. We told the Russians that we were going to launch that rocket, but somebody in Moscow forgot to pass word on it. The Russians actually opened up the command and control launch codes, the button, put it on the desk, and said, we're under attack. Fortunately, Yeltsin wasn't drunk, and he didn't believe what the military was telling him. Highly enriched uranium is now within the grasp of any country. It doesn't take a Manhattan Project to make a bomb. We've got to ensure that never once do terrorists succeed in detonating a nuclear weapon. All of the forces on launch ready alert could kill over 100 million Russians and Americans within 30 minutes. I state with conviction, America's commitment to seek a world without nuclear weapons. Would it not be better to do away with them entirely? The optimum number is none. 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 We'd be better off without them. I say zero. No nuclear weapons. Zero. Zero. Zero nuclear weapons. No you. No you. The weapons of war must be abolished before they abolish us.